First tonight, a fallout from the stunning allegations made by congressional candidate Anthony Gemma in the Congressman David Cicilline's camp. Yesterday, Gemma dropped a bombshell just weeks before the Democratic primary, claiming he's uncovered evidence of election fraud that he claims is linked to the congressman's camp, a claim Cicilline flatly denies. Gemma's allegations include people voting multiple times, people being paid to vote, and even voters being bu bussed in from out of town. Today, we went straight to the man in charge of overseeing elections in Rhode Island to ask about the allegations and what steps are in place to prevent voter fraud. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us live from Providence now with what he's uncovered. With elections, there are primarily three groups that oversee the process. You have the local board of canvassers, like here at Providence City Hall, the State Board of Elections, and at the top of the food chain, the Secretary of State. Thank you there. On Wednesday, congressional candidate Anthony Gemma made stunning allegations of rampant voter fraud. What you're about to hear is not political campaign rhetoric. It is not gossip. And you have someone going on for a half hour with allegations and not much backup, and it's very concerning. I mean, you want people to participate and have confidence in the process. And Secretary of State Ralph Mollis says his office has received a letter from Anthony Gemma asking for a list of information, including whether or not voter machines have been calibrated. Mollis says he's asked the Board of Elections about that. We were notified that every single machine has been tested. So they're calibrated at least once a year and tested before every election. Mollis also says this year a new voter ID law goes into effect. You'll have to present an ID at the polls in 2014. That ID will have to have a photo. So will it prevent the type of fraud Gemma's alleging? The simple answer to your question is yes. Uh, if you have to show an ID, you obviously cannot do what Anthony Gemma is alleging took place. On a political note, Mollis has already endorsed Congressman David Cicilline for re-election. He says no one from his office has been contacted by law enforcement about Anthony Gemma's claims. New at 6, Target 12 hits the streets vetting some of Gemma's claims. Find out what we've uncovered. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.